welcome to the Rutgers Athletic Center where tonight, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights will see one of New Jersey's best, Tro Troy Murphy, coming into town. He's out of Morristown, New Jersey. He was All-American and Rookie of the Year in the Big East Conference. It's all coming your way next. This is Big East Basketball. Welcome, everybody. It's the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Continue their road trip tonight to take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Hi, everybody. Dave Sims along with Jim Spinarkle. Good to have you with us for our game tonight. Notre Dame 2-1 in the Big East Conference at this point. A couple of really good wins. Troy Murphy, big reason for all of their success. A guy that has to be stopped from a Rutgers standpoint tonight. Well, Troy Murphy, when he puts up the big numbers, obviously a lot of people, a lot of teams prepare for him. Look at the numbers. He's scoring 25 points a game, rebounding the ball well, and also shooting the ball well. But when you play against him, there are a lot of different things that he does well that you have to keep in mind. Very good in the paint area when he gets the basketball. Even here when he loses it, he tracks the ball well and finishes off the play. So that's the first thing he can do well. He will also step out and shoot the ball from long range. So it poses a different look defensively where he also can block some shots. Long arms, pretty active guy down in the paint. Now, Notre Dame is coming off a tough loss at Syracuse. Now, you want to talk about tough losses. How about what Rutgers had to West Virginia here on Saturday? Now, their tour tonight, Rashad Kent's going to lead a defensive charge against Mr. Murphy. Well, Kent is a big guy. He likes to bang people down low. So one of the things to look for is Murphy to step away. So a lot of different guys for Rutgers will probably have a hand in guarding Troy Murphy. But Kent will probably get the assignment initially. Now, the strength of Rutgers is perimeter shooting. And these guys will do a lot of zip code shooting tonight. One of the problems against West Virginia was that they just took shots from the perimeter. Now they have to wait for the ball, get something off the penetration, and then knock down your threes. It's Rutgers with the outside shooting taking on one of the top players in the country in Troy Murphy. Notre Dame and Rutgers will tip it off right after this timeout. Welcome back to The Rack, everybody. Dave Sims and Jim Spinarkle with you. The Fighting Irish taking on the Scarlet Knights. Conference records, Notre Dame 2-1, and one, Rutgers 1-2. One and two. Starting lineups for the Fighting Irish, Jimmy Dillon, Matt Carroll in the backcourt, Graves, Murphy, and Swanigan up front, and David Graves having a great year. He's gotten a lot stronger, and he's up to 14 points a game. Good post player. Four Rutgers, Billet and Jones in the backcourt, Greer, Kent, and Dabney up front, and Eugene Dabney leads several players in the center position, which has not been very productive offensively, for Rutgers. They need to get a good defensive effort tonight. Good look at Kevin Bannon, 42 years old. St. Peter's class of 1979 in his third year at Rutgers. And Matt Doherty, 37 years old, will turn 38 on February 25th. First year. North Carolina class of 1984. Let's look at the series history. Rutgers leads 6-5. Notre Dame's 0-3 here at the rack. We're underway. And Notre Dame will get first crack. Jimmy Dillon. His career certainly has blossomed here. It's his final year at Notre Dame. Here's Murphy getting his first touch. Going against Rashad. Kent shoots over him. Goes down and out. Swanigan along with Dabney. It's a held ball. Rutgers will take over on the arrow. And Rutgers coming out with the strong man-to-man, -man, the first show that they put out there offense defensively. Kevin Bannon's squad. And it is Kent who had Troy Murphy down the other end. Shot Kent down about 40 pounds from a year ago. A lot more mobile. Looks to Rick. Here's Jeff Greer to go to Kent inside. Murphy's there, and he scores. The shot Kent gets Rutgers on the board. Notre Dame starting in his zone. And Rutgers very patient to try to get the ball down low and force Murphy to play some defense against Kent. Murphy gets another touch. He'll get booed a lot. He's from nearby Marstown, New Jersey. And one thing the Rutgers faithful hate, they hate when they see a big-time All-American leave the state. And they see it a lot in football and basketball. They, they sure do lately. And the thing about it is that they're going to try to distract Murphy when he touches that basketball. In fact, Jim Spinarkle, you were one of those. Going to do. Yeah, they cheered when I left off. <laughs> <laughs> In the corner, Carroll, first touch. Matt shot one for seven at Syracuse. It'll be interesting to see if he can break out of it tonight. Graves 
Tough shot, under pressure, won't go. Can't rebound. Defensive effort so far pretty good for Rutgers. You think they might be down a little bit after that difficult loss against West Virginia, but they bounce back a little bit, at least early on. Billet gets a roll. Friendly a roll for Todd Billet, the freshman from Middletown, New Jersey, one that did stay home for Rutgers. It was Todd who brought that ball all the way to the baseline against West Virginia. How about Kent? Quick hands, got on the floor, Rutgers takes over. Good footwork by Kent, that trip. After such a heartbreaking loss to West Virginia on Saturday, talking to all the coaches, he said that the last two days of practice for Rutgers have been very good. Well, that's what you have to do. You look at the film quickly, look at your mistakes, and then push it behind you and get to something new. Got a kick ball by Matt Carroll. Miss Platt for the Rutgers Stellar Knights. So far, Notre Dame has missed its first three shots. While Rutgers has hit two of its first two. Here's Greer. Cross court, Dante Jones. ND noticing where the ball is on the floor, looking for the shooters. That's one of their assignments, to try to find the shooters as quickly as they can on the perimeter. And that killed them Saturday. Well, check that Sunday at Syracuse. Preston Shumpert went seven of nine from three-point range. Pretty flat two, three. It's a rotating flat defense. Or oh, Dabney. Believe the layup, there was some pressure from Murphy, but the rebound goes to Bullock. Good recognition there by Bella, too. He had pretty good defensive balance, so he could take that gamble to get into the paint. Here's Greer over the top, in and out. Loose ball, Dabney got fouled, he'll go to the line. So the big man working pretty hard underneath him, pretty efficiently for Rutgers. And because Rutgers has really been very patient, I think that's what's really allowing them to take this little lead early on. They've been patient with the basketball, getting good shots, getting good looks, and that allows their big guys to work the offensive glass. Eugene Dabney. Rutgers is 7-3 when he starts. He's got back into the starting lineup Saturday against West Virginia. Here's that long shot that comes down, bounces off the rim a second time. But look at the positioning. Kent was there on the left. Three Rutgers players right around the tin that trip. Dabney struggling major league to play. 46% at the line. He got one out of two there. Five nothing Rutgers. A little bit of pressure. Billet. Bump on Dillon. First foul on time. That's just one the ones that you really want to avoid, especially early on. Why? Yes, 45 feet in front of the basket. Unless a guy pulls up. <laughs> Pete Maravich used to do that. I haven't seen many guys say okay, uh, If he wants to pull up from there, let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> and if he beats you, he beats you. Graves steps outside. Rebound, Kent. Notre Dame getting nothing on the boards right now. Dante Jones, pretty crossover. Good movement by Rutgers. Three guys they're going to want to recognize. Billet, Greer, and Jones. We had a chance to talk to the assistant coach of Rutgers, Danny Hurley. He said patience is the key for this team. Don't force it up. Dabney, right in front, missed it. They keep it alive. Dylan had it knocked away. Jones takes over for Rutgers. Pretty good effort, too, by Jeff Greer just then. From behind, tipping that basketball. Good ball fake by Billet. Front rims the jumper. Murphy with the rebound. So Murph is going to get the treatment tonight. Yeah, every time. That was a little delay, then. I think half the people were paying attention. <laughs> He had the ball for about a count of three, and then they started booing. He threw it away. The trainer, they call him. He's a terrific player. Number two in the country in scoring. Nice little test for him here with all the distractions. You bet. They have stepped just then. Kent knocks it out of bounds. If Kent can shut him down for a little period of time, this place will start warming up to the task. Sure enough, a first time out. And right now, Rutgers pitching a shutout 5 nothing at home at the rack. Against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, you're watching Big East Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Thing over Notre Dame early on here at the rack, first half. And let's revisit one of the great moments in this season for Notre Dame. They started out the season beating Ohio State, which was sixth ranked at the time. Take you back to January 5th when Connecticut was the second-ranked team in the country, and at the Hartford Civic Center, the Fighting Irish pulled off the big upset. And Troy Murphy put up some big numbers of 33. Good quality effort, showing a lot of poise as the clock wore its way down the second half. Notre Dame has 
beaten some pretty good clubs this year and hung tough with some others. That Connecticut game was back on January 5th, a 75-70 win for Notre Dame. Good schedule for them this year, actually. Nine of the first 17 games they've played, nine of those teams have, were in the NCAA tournament last year. Here's Murphy guarded by Kent. Now, Kent last year could have never guarded Troy Murphy in terms of speed. Right. He's some weight. And he's put together, though, isn't he, Kent? Oh, oh yeah. A lot of patience indeed for Rutgers. And it's kind of like a flat 2-3, but the, you notice the box, guys on the box will come out occasionally if the wing guys, the two guys out front, don't react quick enough. Shot clock to 10 as Dabney faces up, kick it to Billet. Wide open, three, he's got it. The reason that's so successful right there, Dabney got the ball and looked down low to Kent. Now Kent was covered, but just the look frees up Billet in the wing. So one good fake and one good look will present opportunity. Dillon at 37%. Nice move, Jimmy Dillon. Short-armed it from right under the basket. Rebound, Dabney. Here comes Dillon. Jeff Greer, wide open, Dante Jones. 500 jump shots a day. It's transformed him into a real good threat from the outside. And think about that, 500, right? That's not five a day, 500. But that was a good dribble penetration that time. Ball fakes, kick the ball to the wing, penetrate with the basketball. Notre Dame still can't buy a basket. 0 for 7, being shut out 11-0. Coming up on six minutes in. And Rutgers coming down with the same patience. Let's get the field that they're hoping they can get this lead up to force Notre Dame to switch into a man-to-man. -man. Back to Jones. Dillard operating on the sideline, gets it to Dabney. Wow, the Dabney faces up. He front rim that, got the rebound, come right back to him, but a foul. Dabney shooting 55% from the field. A lot of it close in. Matt Darty seeing his team not on the board yet. You see Kent taking a rest. A very good effort to stymie Troy Murphy early on. Under the 14-minute mark, and Murphy has really been shut down pretty nicely. Fair enough. Dabney's got six, uh, check at five rebounds in the first six minutes. Joel Salvi's in the game. His retro hairstyle, and the, he said tonight he's also got the socks on the 70s look. So it's the 70s show with Joel Salvi. Got it all working, huh? Here's the Energizer, too. Boy, I'll tell you what. Timeout on the floor, 13.41 to go, first half. Notre Dame still looking for its first points. It's 11-0 Rutgers here at the rack. Come on back to Big East basketball after this timeout. Welcome back, everybody. Notre Dame being shut out here at Rutgers. Ball movement pretty good. The other thing, too, with Rutgers is when they have dribbled the basketball towards the middle of the floor, they've done it with a purpose. Fill it with a nice rotation, stepping right into his shot. Nice start for Rutgers. Collectively, everybody has their head in the basketball game. How about that? 0 for 7, 0 for 3 from long range. And Rutgers, 40% from long range. Murphy goes in, loses the battle to Salvi. Murphy got his hands on it. Graves comes out with it for Notre Dame. Should mention that our officials tonight, Tony Green, Jim Burr, and Ed Corbett. They have to get the ball into Murphy's hands now against Salvi. See if he can do something differently down there. Salvi at 6'7", going against Troy Murphy, who's 6'10". Get it into Murphy, turns, and shoots. So the Murph is on the board. And a good call from Matt Doherty along the ND bench there. Get his big guy involved, force the action. And I was just going to say, force Kevin Bannon, he already did it. Got Kent off the bench to get him back in the ball game. Billet with room, shoots over the top and hits. Another three ball for Todd Billet. Once again, though, the patience very good with Rutgers. Really confident. Alley in back door to Troy Murphy. Salvi not seeing the ball. They make him pay. Greer the other way. Greer too hard off the basket. And Graves rips down the rebound. It's a foul against Rutgers. Rutgers, first of all, number five, Eugene Dabney is hurt. The second team foul 
There's the lob upstairs for Murphy. Good recognition by the Irish. Nothing happened defensively for Rutgers at all. Here's that look. You see heads turning and things not happening real well defensively this trip for Rutgers. Rutgers also, in addition to bringing Kent back in, there's Graves over the top, won't go. Rebound Dante Jones. Luis Flores is in the game. He's number 33. 21. Here's Luis with his first touch. Jump stop inside, won't go. Kept alive, Kent's got it. Everything that comes off the glass has been Rutgers to this point. Salvi with a rare face-up jumper. Usually he's the man with the putback. Murphy saves it from going out of bounds. Iris down 10. Long memories here in New Jersey, oh, huh? I hope they ever. Well, it's only been a couple of years. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Murphy with another touch. Nowhere to go. Kent cuts him off. I tell you what, I was surprised when the coaching staff told us it was going to be Kent getting that defensive assignment. I'm thinking, how long can he stay with him? How quick is he going to be? And so far, so good. A lot of bumping there. Oh, ooh, they got it the other way. Player control foul. That could have gone either way. Yeah, and I thought Kent may have given him a little push from behind also. Another timeout on the floor, 11-16 to go, first half. Kevin Bennett pleading a call, but there's still a lot to like. 14-4 for Rutgers. You're watching Biggie's Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Sims and Jim Spinarco with you. Rutgers doing a pretty good job against Mr. Murphy here. Yeah, Kent doing the job defensively, staying with him, trying to stick with him from the quickness standpoint. You see Murphy now on the other side of the floor, but and here comes that just a little bit of a push, I thought, but it goes the other way against Troy Murphy. 15 seconds after the first horn, so Murphy blow the second. getting a rest right now. We set the Notre Dame lineup for you, four points, 15 touches, just four shots. For the Irish right now, Inglesby, Braves, They've got Von Cartello in the game, as well as Todd Palmer. Matt Carroll, of course, is still in the game. For Rutgers, they got Flores, Salvi, Dante Jones, Rashad Kent, and Todd Billick. Obviously, the game plan for Rutgers is to make sure we get a good luck, pass the basketball around. Five on the shot clock right now, so Phil doesn't have many choices. Puts it up. Oh, man, that's a killer. He was checking behind him, looking at the clock over his shoulder. He's got 11 points, Billy. That's one of the things about Billy, the ability to come up shooting off the dribble. Making opportunities and creating. Knocked away by Flores. Rector's on the run. Billick leading the break. Billick sets up Dante Jones. Strong to the hole. Taken away by Carroll. Comes the Irish back the other way. And a bad foul by Dante Jones. Boy, that was a silly foul. And a meaningless foul in the backcourt. Carroll defensively that trip making a nice play, too, to save a bucket. You have a situation where you're up 17-4. Rutgers, they get the shot they want with a good delivery by Billet. Troy Murphy getting a rest right now. Carroll steps out. There's an illegal pick call against Notre Dame's Yvonne Cartello. 6-11 freshman. And the shot went down also. That's what hurts so badly for Matt Doherty. In fact, it's one thing. The shot misses, but when it goes down, it hurts twice as badly. Can't get it back. The Rutgers 17-4, 10 minutes in. Career this time. Going up top. See, against West Virginia on Saturday in their loss, they were not as patient Rutgers as they are right now as Kent gets called for the three-second violation. They were just jacking it up very quickly Saturday. So their game plan clearly for Kevin Bannon is to come in here, make sure they control the tempo, and not turn the basketball over. Inglesby, guarded by Billet. On the curl is Graves. Ooh, man, got away with one. Inglesby shoots over and hits. So Inglesby, Martin Inglesby, bad time, great player going over. Martin, 41% on three-point range this year, 24-3. Salvi's not pretty, but boy, he'll work for it. Billet, they got a fine Billet. He's killing them. Four threes already. This 
this after Schumper buried him for seven on Sunday. Well, he came in shooting about 40% or so from the strike, so it's not like he hasn't been hitting shots. Can't. Another foul there. Put up a roadblock. See, but that's the one with Kent right there, Dave. I don't think Kevin Bannon wants him picking up a foul almost, unless it's against Murphy. He used those fouls wisely tonight with Murphy on the floor, but look at Billet. He the rotation on the basketball, too. I mean, he's just feeling good, off the dribble again, gives himself a tiny bit of space going towards his right, our left on the look. Pushing the five count, they get it into Carroll. Matt goes hard, offensive foul. Greer stood in, took the charge. So the Irish is going to regroup, and Matt Dirt is going to bring in a fresh five. Yuri Akira is in the game, number 15. Mike Monserez is in. Mont check that Mike Monserez. He's also got Harold Swanigan back in the game. Roy Murphy is back. So all kinds of substitution. And Matt trying to find any kind of combo, to, some combo that will get it done. 20 to 7, the deficit now. It's like a hockey game just broke out with the subs. And I was wondering if he was taking a page out of the Georgetown book. All these subs at once. Renardo Brown at the point right now for Rutgers. As Billet gets a ball. Cross court, Dante Jones steps in. Got it. Nice job by both squads just then. Matt's already switched up with the trap to give his guys a little life defensively. But once again, though, Rutgers with poise, responding with the extra pass. Jimmy Dillon is in the game also for the Fighting Irish. We got Murphy now. He just can't get the ball to him. I check that. I thought it was going to be a five-second count. It's a traveling violation. Some nights it doesn't go well early yet. But Maintain your poise, get your troops collectively into the basketball game, whatever it takes. Now you're going man-to-man, -man. so another switch defensively for Notre Dame. The slowdown pace by Rutgers has forced Matt Dari to switch to this man-to-man. -man. And Matt Dari thinks he can address it uh, halftime. Boys, this is uh, life on the road again, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, conference play on the road. Dante Jones tries to go baseline and a little shove with the extension of the left arm. Good call by Tony Green. Well, not if, not if you're going to check with all the fans in here. Every time the whistle goes against Rutgers, they're letting the officials have it tonight. Not a whole lot of arguing from Kevin Bannon because the left arm did come out that trip. Here's Murphy, way outside. Dylan got to run Murphy now. Down the post up, he draws a double team, get it inside Swanigan, and lays it up and in. Great look. Beat Jeff Greer. A beautiful look by Murphy just then, recognizing the double team because Dabney ran right at him also. Fast moving first half here, Rutgers, 735. Dabney inside, a little way too much of a lead for Rashad Kent. For Dante Jones. They'll get a break as will both teams. Timeout on the floor. 7.31 to go, first half. 22 to 9. Rutgers over Notre Dame. Dame trailing at Rutgers. 22 to 9. Jeff Billick putting on a shooting show tonight. Especially off the dribble, Dave, knocking him down with that extra spacing. Well, that's one against me. It was only a matter of time before I said Jeff Billet. Todd oh. Billet. That sunk right in with me. I didn't even <laughs> notice you said it. You could have fooled me. <laughs> Jeff, of course, four-year star here. And this is what uh, Notre Dame has done against three-point three defense. And not been real productive. When you look at the numbers, 52% against Syracuse. And not too shabby tonight with Rutgers shooting the ball well from long range. Todd Billet has tied his career high in three-point makes. He's got four tonight. It uh, hit four against Siena last month. Murphy missed, knocked away by Greer. Does he save it? He does. Murphy. The lefty cannot get it to fall. Swanigan lays it up. That won't go. Rebound Kent. And Rutgers with a jailbreak right now. Kent is putting the body on Murphy. Even outside, he's been hammering him a little bit. And shot Kent. They listed at 265 this year. Murphy at 237. Fighting Irish. 10 on the shot clock. Greer to the hole. Backs it out. 
Dabney takes the look. Dabney in and out. Monaghan with the rebound. Taking a lot of time off the clock, though. Every trip, it seems like they want to make sure everybody touches the basketball. Dillon draws a double team. Murphy was open for a moment. They didn't get it to him. Makura had a chance to get it to him. And passed up the opportunity as we approach six minutes ago. Murphy turns and shoots. Long throw. Swanigan lost it. Tell you what Kent's doing real well. A lot of times when a left-handed shooter is playing against you, Dave, when he turns to shoot instinctively, you've played against so many more right-handed shooters, you go towards the right-hand side of the body. Watch Kent, though, right here jump and stay on the left side of the body. So he's got his game plan down well. He says, in his mind, you have to think, this guy's a lefty. Don't instinctively go to the right side. And as coaches like to say, he'd like to get those shooters clean looks. I don't think Murphy's had more than, what, two clean looks all night? He's been right on him each and every time, just about. Murphy with just four points. Billet in the start tonight with four threes. Five on the shot clock. Inside, Kent with three. Lead for Dabney, lay it up and in. You can't beat that. No, you can't at all. That's exactly what Kevin Bannon wants. Work the clock down. You have a nice big lead. Be smart with the basketball. Don't turn it over needlessly and have Notre Dame go down the other end. Lead pass out of bounds. Too far for Murphy. Turnover by Jimmy Dillon. Right now, if you're a young coach, you're watching the team struggle, you got to hold everything together here. Well, you get out the Band-Aids, the tape, anything you can to hold them down. But I, I like the fact that he keeps switching defenses, though, because that should help his team keep their mental edge, keep thinking, concentrating at the defensive end. Nice look by Jeff Greer. Oh, man, he beat the double team. Looked up out of the corner of the eye. There's Rashad Kent. Uh, I'll tell you, the perimeter guys were a wide awake that trip. The guys behind the scenes in the lower blocks fell asleep. Totally fell asleep. Timeout on the floor caught by Matt Doherty. The Irish being routed here in New Jersey. Five minutes to go first half. And they are loving it. The Scarlet Knights, 26 to nine the lead. Now look down below. So you know when Murphy in particular, even was aware of the fact that Kent was behind them. Boom, next thing you know, who's gonna try to get up there and get that? Great delivery, great finish. They're absolutely dying for a winner here at Rutgers. Looking up at the banners before we started. The Carolina Knights haven't been to the NCAA tournament since 1991. That's a long time. Other scores in the Big East. St. John's trailing at the Meadowlands to Seton Hall. Boy, that must be a feisty game. Ditto this one, BC leading Georgetown. And Indiana over Iowa. That's Bobby Knight against Steve Alford. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Murphy, again, Jimmy, right on the money with the way Kent is guarding that left hand because Murph that time had another lousy look out. Yep, and he, and he went quick also, Murphy did, and, and Kent was right there again defensively. Good call. Dabney up top. 26 to 9 as we approach four minutes to go. First half. Phillip penetrates, leaves for Kent. Heck of a catch. Taken away momentarily. Wow! No call. They let him play. Fill it over the top. It's five threes. What a save, too. 17 for top fill, and it's 29-9. Uh, Murphy all over Kent. I think they're gonna get Kent with the grab though. It ended up with Murphy all over Kent, but that's because Kent pulled Murphy all over Kent. Uh, they have the Notre Dame players thinking, oh, look at the save. I don't know if Flores. he ever was out of bounds, though. Yeah. Pull it, rip city. Oh, that's a killer. Whew. Yeah, you diving for the ball out of bounds, and all of a sudden you save it, you get it back in, you knock one down. Look at the numbers, six of eight. If there was one thing, if you look at Notre Dame coming into tonight's game, you figured it'd be one thing they'd do, they'd pay particular attention to three-point shooters. Good battle there, what do we got? Yeah, I think it's gonna go to the, against the Irish. Swanigan, I believe. Good hustle. They get Swanigan for the foul. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 
3.51 to go. It has been all Rutgers for minute one. 29-9, Scarlet Knights over the Fighting Irish. We'll return. Biggie's basketball in the moment. Welcome back, everybody. Everything going right for Rutgers, wrong for Notre Dame. Rutgers on a 12-2 run the last 5.36 with a 20-point lead now with 3.51 to go. Todd Billett with the career-best five three-point makes tonight. Here's his numbers. Impressive. Five of six. He took 11 threes on Sunday against West Virginia. And he's come out smoking. What, Jimmy, you did the game the other day. It's different. Any, see anything different rhythm or just shot selection or... I think it's just mental edge for everybody on the Rutgers squad. They get off to a good start, and all of a sudden you start believing in yourself again. There he goes again. Well, look at that. Again. Almost got the bounce, <laughs> and then Salvi is called for the foul as he held down Troy Murphy. I can guarantee you one thing. When Billet shot that ball, while it was in the air, his body language told me he felt it was going down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every shot so far, he's felt he's got a good bounce. The other thing that amazed me was that he was able to get it off. I mean, yeah. some <laughs> looking for somebody to run at him. And hey, make sure you stay with us here at halftime, the National Carmel Halftime Report. We'll check the Big East Wire. A look at yesterday's buzzer beater. You're going to love this if you have not seen it. The stats and highlights, of course, from the first half. Murphy, the night of struggle continues. Rutgers with that seventh foul, put the Irish in one-on-one. Six fouls on Notre Dame. Up top, Dabney. Look at the action away from the ball for Rutgers. He cuts the sharp. Billet with room. Got it! Oh, he is in the zone. There is no question about it. Even the misses look good tonight. He's got six three-pointers, 20 points on the night. Inglesby leaves it for Murphy, the trailer, and he knocks one down. Maybe that'll get Troy Murphy going. Good run by Murphy just then, right down the middle of the floor, knocking that back, hustled to get to that spot. Murphy with six points. Flores started by Inglesby, 240 in county, first half. Throw it off another screen. Better job defensively. He's finding him. See the look of determination on Inglesby's face. Flores tees one up. That won't go. Greer's got it. Greer inside, left it for Dabney. Knocked out of bounds. It'll be Notre Dame ball. Pretty good pass just then by Greer. Dabney was not ready to catch it. Those big guys getting those, they work so hard to get in a good position, they forget to look for the ball. <laughs> we, we've seen it time oh, yeah. again, too. Rattello outside. Inglesby left alone. There's a three ball. And the Irish needed that one. 32-14. Still time to mount a comeback. Well, they just have to work the last two minutes of the, the half right now. I mean... Play hard defense, maybe you chop into it by a couple of buckets or whatever, and that's a win for you. Steal Murphy. They tried to go over the top of the billet. Leave it for Graves. Graves takes it. Blocking foul. Greer. That's a good move, too, by Murphy to give the basketball up at half court. Give it to a guy like Graves who can handle it. And most times you do get the ball back in that situation. Here's the defensive effort. Murphy aware of what's going on, pushes it, and he gives it to Graves so he can run the floor. Salvi did get that quickly though to stop that because usually you get that ball back by giving it up. Murphy was looking for a big crush yeah. on that one. That dirty. So many young players to get that point, Dave. They want to dribble the ball up all the way up the floor. But if you give the ball up as you pass half court, chances are you're going to get it back in a scoring position. Absolutely. Most guys want to dribble. Graves, a 78 percenter, makes it a 16 point game. Flores up top to Dabney. But Dillon got a piece of it. Phillip fires anyway. Won't go. Murphy rebounds. The Irish with a chance now. You just have to be smart. The offensive end. Don't force it. Here's Cortello. Inside jump hook. Dabney blocked it. Salvi takes over. You need a better opportunity than that. Greer in a hurry. Loses it but was fouled. Graves was running up the side that trip. So Graves fouled his first 18 foul. Check that 17 foul on Notre Dame. It's a good call, too. Offensive player making his move. 
Doherty trying to figure things out here still. Up too strong. Rebound and easy on the grave. From Greer, who's shooting to 63%. Way off his pace of last year when he hit 71%. Irish down 16. Minute and change to go. They're down by 20. It looked like they're going to fall behind by 40, but regrouped a little bit. Murph turned right into a double team. Shoots anyway. Air ball. Graves has got his hands on. Puts it up. Won't go. Inside position. Murphy got hammered on the boards. Rutgers back the other way. Salvi doing the job blocking him off the glass, too. Right now, Rutgers a lot more physical than Notre Dame. Final minute of play. First half. Rear backs it out. Billet got six threes. Flores with 11 on the shot clock. Rear checks the clock with 37 on the game. Seven on the shot clock. Bridge, nice play. Takes it away. Gets help. What do we got? Traveling. Rolled over with the basketball. Yes, indeed. And the look up and what it does, it gives you the last possession of your Rutgers right now. So great effort there. Getting on the floor, making something happen. Unfortunately, it works against Notre Dame when they work so hard defensively that trip. Yuri McCura coming back in. Ready to get Ivan Cartello. Let's see what Rutgers does. Got a milk it for the last shot. Dylan guarding Phillip. Dabney way outside, being guarded by Murphy. There's your time remaining. In the corner career. It's Ken on the clock. Dabney, I don't think they want to shoot. No, I don't think they want him doing it. They get a pick. Career with three. Baseline lays it up. Won't go. Tip no good. Dabney, no. They got opportunities. Rutgers with a one-time 20-point lead. Sees Notre Dame get back into it at 16 points, but it's been an all-Rutgers first half. Todd Billet leading the way with six three-pointers, a career best. We're at halftime. The National Car Rental Halftime Report coming your way. Rutgers doubling up on Notre Dame at the half. When do you first realize it? Is there a defining moment? A clear turning point? Some kind of sign? Do you choose it? Or does it choose you? When do you know you're an athlete? When you win your first trophy? Or break a record? Or is it when the thought of losing keeps you awake at night? When do you know you're an athlete? When you can't stop playing. Back everybody, Scarlet Knights 32-16 over the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, and where Rutgers got off to a good start, and they lead by a wide margin. Dave Sims and Jim Spinarco with you, and who would have thought that Mr. Billet would outscore the entire Notre Dame team, especially with Notre Dame coming off the game the other day where Preston Shepard hit him with so many threes. Yeah, you know, and you're shooting the ball that well. I mean, Billet is just feeling it. He's been on a roll this evening, and you have to keep shooting it until you get off the roll. Take a look at the first half highlights, and Rutgers did a great job in shutting down Mr. Murphy. And they also had a good job of passing the basketball with the ball movement. Here's Billet creating something to off the dribble, and then the passing game kicks into play. A little down low, a little flip to your big guy, Daphne, finishing that off. Defensively, Kent did a terrific job on Murphy. Everywhere he went, he stayed with him. Not many sharp cuts by Murphy, but Kent just stayed right on the hip, usually the left hip, whenever he caught the basketball, prepared himself well to be on that left side when he's shooting the basketball. Murphy finished just three for 10, six points in the first half, and then Billet, the story at the other end. Lighting it up, six of eight from downtown, and nothing but bottom, and really in some real tough situations, too, as the shot clock was winding down, going for it. Take a look at our Buick first half stats. 7 of 11 shooting from three-point range for Rutgers. And the rebounds, big heads there too, Jim. And I think that's just indicative of the way this game began. The first five minutes, Notre Dame was struggling shooting the basketball, but everything was gobbled up by Rutgers. Notre Dame's got a lot of work in front of it here for the second half. We'll get things underway when we come back. Hey there. Back here for second half action. Rutgers leading Notre Dame. 32, 16, Murphy's numbers, pretty ugly when you're the number two scorer in the country. His low games in scoring this year, 
17 against Vanderbilt, 17 against St. Peter's. Murphy will get the first scoring opportunity. See if they can get him going here in the second half. Matt Carroll, quiet the first half. Nails his first jumper in the second half. Matt, only his second shot of the night. I like the way, though, they took it to Murphy. He didn't try to panic with the basketball to start things off and then take it away from Murphy. Make somebody else shoot the basketball. Todd Billick. Jeff Greer, Dante Jones, Rashad Kent, Eugene Dabney starting second half. Four Rutgers. With Jimmy Dillon, Troy Murphy, Matt Carroll. We've got Harold Swanigan in there. And a turnover. Comes the Irish. That's a telegraph pass from way out top from the big guy. David Graves completes the starting five here for the Fighting Irish down 32-18. You know, it's only a matter of time, though, before they start running the ball through Murphy again to see what he has in the second half. Carroll got hit. Foul on Greer. So Matt Carroll, who is a great scorer, not too far from here, down the road a little bit in Philadelphia, just outside of Philadelphia. At for a portion high school. Get inside the Murphy. Working tonight on defense, he sure is. I've never seen him work this hard on defense. Somebody gave him the challenge, and he's really accepted it so far. No doubt. Inside Swanigan, way too far. Bad pass by Graves. Swanigan never had a chance on that one. Another turnover for the Irish. That was headed right to the band back there. It's their ninth. Fighting Irish on the season, averaging just 18. Billet got Rome. Kick ball, new clock. See, Bill, it has the confidence right now, though. Everything he does, going around, there's the career high, 22 points. Tonight, having 20. All in the first half, lighting it up. Push that five count, got it to Greer. Dante Jones been pretty quiet as well. A couple had two fouls in the first half, one a frustration foul. Silly foul after he had made a bad shot. The offensive end. Not been much of a factor. In the corner, Greer. Greer usually puts that one up. Notre Dame back into his zone, though. Greer over the top this time, and he hits it. But Jeff Greer with his first three-point make of the evening, 35-18 Rutgers. I would figure that Notre Dame is going to have to go back to switching things up defensively. Murphy beats a triple team, can't get the roll. Tent down deep, a lot of traffic around Murphy. Set it down out of the rim with Notre Dame in the zone, Dave. Rutgers will be content with taking so much time off the clock that I'm not so sure you can sit back in that zone. Down 17. I know it's still early in the second half. So Murphy, first team all biggies, rookie of the year last year. Getting the treatment here. <laughs> In his home state from Joe Barton High School, which is from Morristown, New Jersey. Here they're looking for him with the high-low action. Look at him stay with the ball, tracking the basketball, looking for it all the time. Look at 82% at the line. Also the nation's eighth rebounder, nicely tied with Fairfield, Darren Phillips. No crazy decisions. Billet running the show, doing a terrific job. Look at Murphy. And they take a foul. Jimmy Burr, the foul on Rashad Kent, who took Murphy back into about the second row. Fourth foul on Rashad Kent. That will mark that down at the 17:45 mark. That could be the turning point of the game. Maybe the biggest number so far tonight. Greer rebounds to miss. Back comes Rutgers. Billet going to try to get some order restored for Rutgers. Won't happen. Graves leads it back. Got a breakout. Carroll lays it up. He got fouled by Billet. I'll tell you, Graves put that one right on the money also, Dave. He threw one pass away, but that particular pass, as soon as he got the basketball, he turned, put his head up, looked down the floor with one dribble. Keep in mind, Rashad Kent, four fouls, picked it up at the 17.45 mark. He's still in the game. You're sure he has the four fouls, right? 
It's up on the scoreboard, correct? Yeah. Nobody's at uh, Salvia. Salvia's tucked behind the official. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was looking for somebody over there. Imagine if they, you know, that last little uh, attack there by Notre Dame, he could have picked up another foul and be done for the night. So Kent leaves. Kent. And Carroll, look at Matt's family, made had an hour and change drive up from the Hatboro Horsham area. That was a big sigh of relief we just heard, too, with Murphy, wasn't it? Seeing Kent go out of this game. And they get Swanigan with a wipeout down in the box. A little more activity down deep. Salvi always active. Kevin Bannon in the background looking for the calls. Swanigan picked up his third. Team fouls right now. Four for Rutgers, one for Notre Dame. So see if... ND can continue to force the action. That may play into their hands and help them a little bit to fight back. Greer. Greer, Billet, and Jones are three-point shooters for Rutgers right now. Not much of an inside attack with Dabney and Salvi. Over the top is Jones. Won't go. Salvi keeps it alive. Dabney's got it. Working, working, takes it after a reset. Nice decision by Dabney. I thought that was going to go skyward, that shot. He didn't have one. He's got nine rebounds, Dabney. Work it to Dabney. Baseline jumper, Dante Jones. Quick shot, got it away. It's good. 37-21 Rutgers. And how about the quick release also by Dabney in the middle of the floor, catching it and making another good decision. Todd Palmer in the game, number 44. For the start for the uh, Fighting Irish. Get it inside of Murphy, draws a double team, gets, shoots nonetheless, gets the roll, won't go, Dabney rebound, foul Murphy! He's on his back. Fouls on Troy Murphy. Second foul on Troy. Maybe a tiny bit of frustration here. Yeah, on a post up. Gets the basketball, and now Dabney runs at him, forces to go away to the baseline side. Dabney, look at Dabney, staying right in front of him the whole way. Back to live action, Greer can't get it to fall. Palmer brings it back, here comes Matt Carroll. Quick trigger, short, air ball in fact. And Bill, it was there. I don't know if he got a piece of it or not, but he was a factor. Salvi posting. About Salvi, he's not going to do anything. He's energetic, but he's not going to do anything too crazy out there. No. He knows his game. Yeah. Dabney shook free for a second. Yeah, he did cut right down the middle. Him on the shot clock. And it went out of bounds on Matt Carroll's foot. Martin Inglesby is going to come back to the Irish lineup when we return. 15-23 to go. The Irish have not been able to cut into this lead. You're watching Big East Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Well, the lead at halftime was 16 for Rutgers. It's still 16 now. 15-23 to go in the ballgame. Murphy drawn a crowd continuing. He has to work very, very hard to get a shot off down below. And then the frustration sets in where he comes in looking for an offensive rebound that really wasn't going to have a shot again. First half points by Notre Dame fewest ever allowed by Rutgers and Big East play. Now all they have to do is tack on the W to the rest of the battle. A so pick and go. Picked off by Murphy. Trying to get a quick hitter going to the basket. Graves leaves it for Palmer. Reverse sent back by Dante Jones, saved by Greer. Rutgers on the run. Leave it for Salvi. Salvi lost it, got it back. Scrum breaks out. Possession arrow favors Rutgers. One of the few times that really Rutgers looked to push the basketball up the floor. We've seen them in the half-court sets. Kevin Bannon looking for spots. If you have it, you have the numbers and the advantages, take it. But be selective. Tenth block shot on that last possession by Notre Dame by Dante Jones' 10th block of the season. They get Inglesby for the foul, his first. And Jones with that block down the other end. Good collective job defensively. 
Patience continues for Rutgers. Under 15 to play. 16 point lead, they can afford to be very patient. Good luck to Devin. Boy, he shot a brick there. Rebound goes to Graves. Graves back the other way. Nice lead to Murphy. Gave him some room. No call. And so he's on the baseline. Notre Dame ball. Graves put that ball out there, too, for Murphy. But every time it goes towards him, at least two, if not three. Watch Murphy with a good position right now. It holds off his defender. Baseline's his. But now what's what happens. Guys from both sides, Jones and Billet, come in. They'll crisscross on him. Jones actually getting his hand on the ball. They're working awfully hard at some point. There's a call there. Salvi, that there, just hammering people down there. Let's see how the officials keep this game under control. Because Murphy's wearing all kinds of frustration on his face. And same with Matt Doherty. Well, you have a situation where temper's getting a little aggressive inside. I haven't seen anything. It's difficult from up here to see whether anybody's throwing the cheap shots or not, but it looks fairly clean. It's hard, that's for sure. Yeah. It's clean, straight up, and hard. Palmer, a bit too strong in that first free throw. This is eighth attempt of the season. He's now four of eight. Vitas Tenis coming off the bench for Rutgers. A good make by Palmer, and Tenis hustles to get his uniform as uh, sweats off. Tenis, a 6'11", 235-pound senior from Lithuania. Well, one of the things that Rutgers has clearly going for them tonight versus their last game Saturday against West Virginia is the fact that they have a comfort level on the offensive end, and their patience is very good as a squad. And plus, they have guys like Billet knocking them down. Right on cue, Billet with 22 points, tying his career high. Quick release, Murphy, alley -oop. well done from Jimmy Dillon. And that was one where Murphy recognized he would have been in trouble if he had caught that one and put it back up. Guys are converging on him. Good little quick thing. Jimmy Dillon, good lead. Greer looking down low to Salvi. Salvi and Palmer. Salvi, how did he get that off? Boy, did he work hard. Did he ever come close to the out-of-bounds line? He was a right foot. Wow. Salvi with his first bucket. Murphy up top. Three won't go. Denise Palmer, thousand from behind. Show, a little cut away on the other side after the screen. Murphy putting it right in off the glass. Gets a little high screen. That helps the free him going to the baseline area. Troy Murphy. Troy Murphy gets a blow with 13.26 to go. Murphy has not been a factor from long range. A great three-point shooter at 43%. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Been working him down low. He's four for 13 on the game. Salvi gets the double team. Denied. Bartello takes over for Notre Dame. Bartello trailing. Here's Inglesby. Swan gets back in the game. He's got three fouls. Probably won't see Rutgers and Shaq Kent inside single digits. Greer almost had a steal. Notre Dame has to try to get something going towards the basket. Try to get some more fouls, at least to be aggressive. Try to get yourself to the line. After he wants to get to the line so he can stop the clock a little bit. And there's a the whistle. I want to know where Notre Dame's going to get their scoring from with Murphy on the bench. Graves is a double figure scorer. He's the only other double figure scorer. So, I mean, at least the Irish in a big quandary here. I would bet Murphy's not going to be out for long because of that point. Jones on the outside, goes it to Salvi. Score of the night has been this young man right here, Todd Billett. Salvi. Backs 
pass it out, give it to Dante Jones. Ten on the shot clock, short, and short written all over. Salvi saves it. Open look, Billick. He cannot be stopped tonight. Todd Billick. He's got seven threes tonight. 44-24, matching the biggest lead of the night. One thing about Billet, too, that's the second time, I believe, Dave, that the shot clock has been wearing down. And Rutgers came up with the loose ball and kicked it to Billet, and he's knocked it down. So that's put six extra points up on the board for him. Swanigan limps to the bench as Murphy returns. Billet with 25 points. Shot clock wearing down. We have Salvi getting the ball back to Billet. Dillon will pick one up at the other end. That's a live action. Jimmy Dillon driving baseline. Billet picks up the foul. That's his third. Third foul on Todd Billet. One-on-one one in effect right now. That being the seventh team foul against Rutgers. Jimmy Dillon. Probably the only positive, really, that Notre Dame can hang their hat on right now in the second half is the fact that they've got to the, into the bonus. Now the key becomes getting there to the line more often and hitting some of these shots. You bet. Fighting Harris second in free throw shooting in the conference to Miami. Dante Jones leaves. Luis Flores is back in. Jimmy Dillon on the season, 65%. We we're talking about scoring. Murphy just under 25 a game. David Grant's 14 a game. And then there's everybody else. That's... And Kent, don't forget, he picked up his fourth foul at the 17.45 mark. He's been sitting almost six minutes. Billet. Greer with room. Boy, he brought some rain on that baby. Oh, that was upstairs, wasn't it? 27-26. How about that little dribble, though, by Billet? It's a small thing. You push it into the middle, force the defenders to react. 11.38 to go. And the Fighting Irish will go to the line once again. They get Salvi for the foul. His third. So free throws coming. And it's Troy Murphy, 82% on the season. Jersey native getting ragged mercilessly by the Rutgers band and the fans. Wow. Just barely got that one to go back down. But it all started with the introductions, too. It After sure already is. heard it. Everybody heard it as soon as his name was introduced. He's struggling a little bit, huh? 10 for 30. Last two games. When you're scorching the Mets with just about 25 a game, it does draw a lot of attention. Time out on the floor, Matt Dardy and the Irish still trying to find a way to get a little bit closer to Rutgers. 11.38 to go. It's 47-28 Rutgers over Notre Dame. You're watching Big East Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Raining threes at the rack. 47-28 Rutgers. Rutgers with 10 three-pointers tonight, a season high. As we take a look at the Bex game summary, the season high 10 three pointers. Billet with a career high 25. He's 7 of 9. Same number Preston Shumpert was Sunday. And the Irish 8 of 30 from the field. A major struggle in Troy Murphy. Guy they hits the hits the wagon to. Can't find it right now because he's under intense pressure. And that man right there, young man Todd Billet. Putting in major, major minutes, just like his older brother Jeff did. By the way, that Rutgers single game team record for made three pointers in a game was is 14, and they've got 11:38 to go. That was set in a loss to West Virginia back on December 30th of 1998. Well, the key thing really is when you have a situation like this is just make sure, and it'll be interesting to see what kind of defense ND comes out with. Looks like they're going to switch to the man-to-man -man again. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little trap. Here it comes. Uh, a Graves rather came up to get the ball. Tanise, not a good ball handler, good shooter. Flores, known as a scorer, takes it to the glass. Count it! 
See, that's what Notre Dame is trying to do, Dave. They're trying to up-tempo a little bit, force Rutgers to take faster shots, but not good shots. But that time, Florida just broke them down defensively. And then Inglesby leaning one way. You go to the baseline, not enough rotation and help down deep. Not the way you want to design it defensively. Flores comes in with great credentials. 40 plus points in 12 games last year, his senior year, at Norman Thomas High School in Manhattan. Biggest lead of the evening, 21 points. Murphy not looking for the ball off his chest there, and they're gonna say it went off his salvage. And there's a break for Notre Dame. Murphy, the uh, leader of the ball club, drawing double teams, triple teams, being harassed by the fans. It's been just a lovely night back oh, in New Jersey. <laughs> Trying to get himself positioned down deep. Salvi doing a nice job on him down. Inglesby over the top from Dillon. Won't go. Salvi, they'll keep it right here. Uh, Salvi had Murphy uh, almost with the clarinets. <laughs> That's why he got that rebound so easily, huh? <laughs> wow, that was some tune there. Push the guy into the band. <laughs> well, that looked pretty good, just as long as those three guys in the striped shirts don't see it. Swanigan, who went off limping a few minutes ago, is back. Inglesby and Cartello, but Matt Carroll is back, too. Troy Murphy will remember this trip to New Jersey for a while. For three in this building since coming into the Big East five years ago. Back rim, kept alive. And it will be a Rutgers ball. Salvi's got four fouls. Kent has four fouls. And they're going deep into the bench now. Mike Thompson, number 24, on, on now for a Rutgers. He's out of Nelson, New Zealand. Again, his career at BYU. He's back from his Mormon mission. And it bodes the question of who, who will take Murphy down the other end. And now we'll come back. Maybe yeah. yeah. Looking at the personnel they have on the floor. Billet. They go with the smaller unit. Thompson with his first touch. Billet fires away. Unreal. You're not getting tired of saying that, are you? Yeah. He is just, he's beyond the zone. Oh. He's... I mean, he is glowing so much right now. That ties the school record of eight threes and he's in just, one game. He's just warming it up, too. Donnell Lumpkin, has, his record's now been tied. He set that back on Jan 7 of 93. And that one there was contested, too. Yeah. And they get a foul. Thompson picks up his first. 10 team fouls. Rutgers have a 52 28 lead. Notre Dame with 10 11 to go. The shooting double bonus the rest of the way. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Murphy winds up with tonight, though. He'll strap his way to almost a 20 point night by the time he's finished, I bet. Murphy with that free throw has 12 points. was named conference rookie of the week more times than troy murphy was last year it took him 30 minutes or so dave to crack the 30 point mark here's flores thompson billet he's been wearing out jimmy dillon and company pull up missed a lot of iron that time murphy comes up with a loose ball nice outlet Graves thought about the lead. Graves shoots. That won't go. Billet rebound. Numbers favoring Rutgers. Leave it for Thompson. Takes it to the hole. It goes! They have had not many fast breaks tonight, but when they have had them, they've taken advantage of the opportunities. The long shot produces a long rebound at their defensive end, and off they go to the races. 24-point lead for Rutgers. Yeah. Billet waiting just a moment to let Thompson catch up to the play. And Murphy sliding across a little late. Murphy's foul, his third three-point play for Mike Thompson. 25 points the lead. Notre Dame needs 
shots now. They just got to fire. Murphy gets bumped out of that play. Two guys get no help on the boards at all. I mean, he needs to call a Calvary. <laughs> he needs to get the message quickly. I don't know if the Calvary will stop uh, Rutgers the way they're going right now. Flores over the top. Carroll may have gotten a piece of that. Carroll back the other way. Carroll with room fires and he hits. That would have been too many easy looks tonight for Notre Dame, that's for sure. Todd Billett having a fabulous night. 28 points. Thompson. Look inside for him. Now Dante Jones up top. Well, he's waiting for it all day. He hit it. It was wide open. He wasn't going to get any more open than he was. Sometimes you like to have a guy running at you. <laughs> Offensive foul. It's all going downhill for Notre Dame. They get Jimmy Dillon with the foul. Kevin Bennett starting to get deeper into his bench. Leonardo Brown is in. This is Big East basketball. Good to have you with us at Piscataway, New Jersey. The rack is rocking as Todd Billett takes a seat. I'm Dave Sims and Jim Spinarco. It's been the Todd Billett show tonight. 28 points, eight three-pointers. He's been unstoppable. And Troy Murphy, Notre Dame star. He'll take a rest right now with this game. Pretty much in the hands of the Scarlet Knights. Brown gets trapped. So it's Brown, Dabney, Greer, Jones, and Thompson for Rutgers. Inglesby, Graves, Swanigan, Makura, and Jimmy Dillon for Notre Dame. You know, one of the things you touched on, Dave, you mentioned Dillon's big night shooting the basketball, but controlling the tempo, I think, overall, Kevin Bannon has been ready to play this game and make sure they weren't rattled defensively and they wanted to take good shots. And look at a lot of dejected faces on the Notre Dame bench. Still over eight minutes left, but a huge mountain to climb. Yes, indeed. 13 points for Troy Murphy on the bench as he rests up. Long three is good by David Graves. 48 percenters from long range. He's not shot a lot of threes tonight. Out front by Notre Dame, knocked out of bounds by Graves. A timeout on the floor, under eight to play, 757, to be exact. And to be exact, Todd Billett has wrecked Notre Dame tonight. 28 points as Rutgers leads 58 to 35 here at the rack. It's a Rutgers route, 58 to 35, 7.57 to go. And let's take a look at our Advanced Auto Parts best play of the game. Brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Easy choice, Todd Billett. I thought for a moment it was going to be Kent down on the blocks, <laughs> but I guess we have to go with Billett. <laughs> with all the threes that he's been knocking down. It's been a sensational night. Bad news for Notre Dame, Todd's back on the floor. Billet with Dabney Thompson, Greer, and Jones. Graves, Swanigan. We look at St. John's getting routed by Seton Hall. 59-43. Wow. That's a double wow for me. I, you know, the way St. John's has been playing. Seton Hall. Obviously not knowing how that one's been going, but Shaheen Holloway has been doing a very good job of running that club. Their shot selection has been good, and their defense has picked up, obviously. Goes back to uh, our halftime when we highlighted Seton Hall. One of the big surprises in the league. This confirms it for sure tonight. My goodness, Seton Hall coming into tonight's game. Three and one in the uh, Big East. This will tie Seton Hall with St. John's at four and one. Tell you, if that holds up that score, that's a big statement, isn't it? Yes, it is, especially after St. John's won at Connecticut. Mike Thompson will leave. Fifty-eight, thirty-five. You heard Troy Murphy being greeted again by the Jersey, Jersey fans. And they went Salvi. Taking a lot of those back doors away from him too. He sure has. But he's been looking for him too. Cura faces up. Tip Murphy. That'll go. One of his easier baskets of the night. And Murphy pushing off a little bit. Salvi and Dabney both kind of bumping him. 
says something to Murphy down at the other end. Trap here by Ren up. Foul around the back. Jimmy Burr with the call. Dylan's foul. Get information on your favorite Big East team, go online at www.bigeast.org for all the basketball and conference news from around the Big East. Dylan Spall, his third. Since Todd Billett to the line, 85%. From the free throw line, his brother Jeff is also a great free throw shooter, up around 88, 89%. Similar parts of their games, but different in other ways also. So the Saturday lineup coming your way. Check your local listing. The biggest game in your area. Under seven to play. 59-37. And all rookies. Both Phillips could, I think, equally well direct traffic on the floor with the ball running the club. I think Todd may have it over his brother just putting it, getting his jump shot off, off the dribble a little bit better. He turns under duress, can't go. Contests for it, but Dabney wins. Back comes Rutgers. Leave it for Dabney, lay it up and in. Dabney running the court. And they've been patient enough to wait for their team to come down the floor. They all, all the threads have popped loose. Salvi and Notre, Notre Dame, and what a surprise, Salvi, he's done. With 6.15 to go, that's his fifth. Salvi is done. Salvi, a crowd favorite, and this is the largest crowd of the season, by the way, 8,211 at the left. Rashad Kent, who would have thought? Rashad Kent leaves the game 17.45 to go with his fourth foul, and all it did was increase the lead. That wasn't even a factor. You know, one of the things about this crowd, too, tonight, there was a buzz before this game. You see Murphy trying to shoot on the baseline again. And then Rutgers pushing it up. Not many opportunities to push it up the floor. And taking advantage of it down there, you'll see Dabney fill the lane and finish it off. Leave Murphy down the floor. Big buzz, too. If the students are back, you didn't have the students here on, uh, on Saturday when you were right? No, it was uh, not nearly as noisy. I and mean, they came in and been passing around some literature about Murphy tonight. They were so wired up to begin with. Rashad Kent back in the game. We talked about him being out of the game. He started off on Troy Murphy and made life very difficult for Troy in the first half. A couple of free throws for Mr. Murphy. He's got 17 points. Not a bad off night, huh? <laughs> If we should hope so, right? <laughs> yeah. Murphy in the first half, six points on three of ten shooting. A lot of that because of the shot Kent. Rear throws it back to Billy. Plenty of time, under six to go. Plenty of time in the shot clock at 15. At the up top. He just continually take the time off the clock. And Murphy just getting constantly out, muscle down low. Four, three. Phillips got to let her rip. Fire! Almost went off balance. You believe that? Yeah. He had to heave it, and it almost went. If that one went down, we would have been in, in trouble here in this building. But if you're Notre Dame, as McCura, uh, McCura scores, if he had hit that in check, please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get on the bus and leave. Uh, don't even just grab the warm-ups. It's that wind chill of a bat. In below tonight. Let's get right on the bus and we're out of here. Hasn't been much of a wind chill for Billet tonight, though. 20 point game, 522 to go. Kira working underneath. Tough reverse there. He goes. Matt Darney in his first year. And he's done a good job recruiting. Not too far down the road. Ferris Hills, Pennsylvania, Dorian Jones, Chris Markwood from Maine. And Tom Timmerins from the Netherlands. St. John's 43. And not what the Rutgers fans wanted to hear. Seton Hall <laughs> put a number on St. John's. As you would expect a big rivalry here, St. John's and Seton Hall. I take that Seton Hall and uh, Rutgers. If Murphy doing poorly tonight and Seton Hall losing would have been a nice Rutgers double win, right? How about it? <laughs> 
Rutgers takes on Seton Hall here at the rack on Feb 9 to turn it over. From the Irish, they need points in a hurry. Graves will let her rip. Misses. Rear rebounds. And Rutgers take this to the bank in no hurry in the five to play up 20. Here comes the trap. They're going to try to get up as a walk. Yes, it was. One way to get through the double team, right? Yeah. Run through it. The intention was good, the execution was not, and Jerry will take a seat. Junior Cowell. Mr. Dame has to go quickly now. Give it to Murphy. Here he is. Some shots. And Kent, boy, with four fouls, very aggressive on that play. Murphy and Kent once again. Technical foul. I'll tell you what, Rashad Kent milked that one beautifully. Yeah, he baited him. He baited him beautifully. He closed in on space. Remember the Seinfeld episode? Hey, this guy is too close. He's always taking on my space. He can't walk right up on him. Remember that episode? He walked right up on him. Merck's reaction, having a long night, shoves him away. What does the referee see? Bang, technical foul. Second guy in, sure does. And, yeah, I thought Kent reached in on that one and may have gotten Murphy with the body. Agreed. Ball goes out of bounds. Watch Murphy now try to get the position down deep. He gets... Ball comes in on the bounce. Oh, yeah, that's a foul. Yeah, absolutely. There's a foul right there. Now watch it. See if we can let this run. Good job. There's a foul. And then Murphy will come back. And he says something. Look, he saw him close down the space and say something to him. And the other thing, too, at the other end of the floor, when Ken is on offense, every time he sees Murphy, his billet buries a couple of free throws. Ken is leaning with his, you know, he's established. He's got a big, strong body, and he's using everything. And a lot of it, you know, within, all within the confines of the law down here. Oh, absolutely. And this which is, leads to the frustration. Right. Seat on the bench by Matt Doherty now. Duncan foul by Grave. Well, it's amazing. The Rutgers, some of the Rutgers fans are up 22, 434 to go. And you think it was a two-point game. You know, it's interesting. The last minute or two of this game, even though it's been basically a blowout for the last four or five minutes of this game, still pretty physical. Oh. Normally you see it go up and down, it gets ragged and you all. Get but yours, you get yours, I get mine. <laughs> but now you're getting bang for bang here. Right. Speaking of bang, that's what Renato Brown just did on that free throw. Sweating it out, Murphy in, if you couldn't tell. Coming up Saturday, Pittsburgh at Notre Dame, where Seton Hall at Syracuse, part of the Big East action, which gets underway at 12 noon. Make sure you check your local listings. Round second, free throw is good. 64-41. Now keep an eye, an eye on Ken. He's got four fouls. Back door. Steal! Very shot. Kent leads the break. Here comes Billet. Billet to Dante Jones. That's a three ball. Whoa! Kent kept it alive, and a rebound taken down by Yuri Makura. Kent, the last two trips, playing with the four fouls, has been very, very good. Kent just leaning on Murphy, and he's winning that battle. He's got a great weight advantage. It's obvious strength advantage on Troy Murphy. It's only a matter of time before he fouls out, though. Murphy knocked away by Dante Jones. Oh, what a nightmare for Troy Murphy. Here in Jersey, his home state. Now watch the master now. Let's see how well they handle the ball. Coming up on 3.30 left in the game. Brown wants his points. Brown gets the roll. Back comes Graves. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Next year at this time, if we're doing this game, I almost, I'd be willing to bet you anything that Troy Murphy is going to be significantly stronger after the lesson he was given tonight. A lot of body and going oh, out there. Though, unbelievable. Huh? Hey, straight up hard-nosed basketball. Now, that was a legal chuck. That was an illegal chuck there. That, that was an easy call. And that was not... Now, he's played a smart game body-wise. That was not a smart play. Thank you. Ed Corbett all over that call. That was not a savvy play for a kid who had been using his ball very well for most of the night. Kent fouls out. That was bad. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's uh, uncalled for. But I tell you what, Rashad Kent did his job. He took Murphy out of the game. And Rashad goes off to a huge ovation from the largest crowd to see a Rutgers game at home this season. Well, Rashad Kent. 
wasn't a real factor on the offensive end, Dave, before you said it perfectly. Four points, five rebounds for Rashad Kidd tonight. But that does not tell you the story of what he's done tonight. He started out this game with a mission to try to stop Murphy. And Kevin Bannon gave him the assignment. He took it and ran with it. Well, you better get it. You, you finished up on that point, which you had made earlier. But you think you get the impression that somebody got it in his head. Oh, gave him Murphy video, Murphy everything. That's the guy you got to stop. Because that's the way the young man played tonight. Yeah, and if you're a coach, I mean, you just say to him, hey, listen, forget about everything else. The guy Murphy is all you want. All I want you to do tonight is stay with that guy. And, you know, he did it perfectly. He sacrificed everything, scoring offensive opportunities. If he can't get the foul. Dylan, the foul on Jimmy. We mentioned Fighting Irish 0 for 3 here in the in the rack against Rutgers. They're 2 and 1 at the Meadowlands Continental uh, Airlines Arena. The last win in New Jersey against Rutgers was January 16th of 1990. That was a 74-69 win by Notre Dame over Rutgers. Last year when Troy Murphy played against Seton Hall in that game, he had 22 points, 13 rebounds. So Jersey was friendly to him last year. But Notre Dame has got seven more opportunities at the line. And it's a field goal. It's the story. Billets, eight, three points, uh, three-point field goals tonight, 31 points. Rashad Kent, the bulk of the work on Troy Murphy, who's struggling, and Murphy on the night with 18 points, and he has had to work oh so hard for those points. 3.05 to go in the ball game. all Rutgers, it's 68-42, and his basketball continues after this. Boy, they'll remember his name and face for a while in the Notre Dame basketball program. He has just been on fire. 31 points, eight three-pointers, a ton of open looks, and he's made the Irish pay just about every time. The team today, it's amazing what a couple of days will do for a club against West Virginia. They were lethargic to say the best. To say the least, I should say, and then losing the game by two is... They force another turnover. Dante Jones all over Graves. Took it away. Tonight a different story. Abney. After Brown gets some oohs and eyes. Notre Dame's low point, low scoring number. Thompson gets a layup. Notre Dame's scoring low this season. 55 points at Miami of Ohio back in December 11. Still got some time. Maybe they can beat that. Brown rebound. Tried to give a foul, and yeah. they let him go. Kevin Bannon, the Rutgers fans, can hey, what's going on? Grabbed him with two hands also. There's a foul. And it's on Jimmy Dillon. I did a game, Villanova, Penn State at Villanova. It's about a nine-point game three minutes ago. Penn State fouled every trip from about the three-minute mark to about the 40-second mark. Game went about two hours and 25 minutes. And you could be looking at that if they do likewise here. Look at Notre Dame's done. 3 of 14, but Rutgers 12 of 21. 27 extra points. Damage, damage done. No question about it. Bernardo Brown does not get a lot of action, making him the most of it tonight. Eugene Gaffney did a lot of nice things defensively, helping out against Murphy all around. He had 11 rebounds. That's where it was really big, off the glass when they needed rebounds. Five points, 11 rebounds for Eugene Gaffney. 
Over the top, Graves won't go. Big Kareem Wright with the rebound, a 6'9", 230-pound freshman out of Philadelphia. 71-42. So this will be a team low for Notre Dame. As for Rutgers, they're a high point this season so far, 86 points at Siena and an 86-74 win back on December 28th. That was in the Holiday Festival at the Garden inside the Korean ride. Job off, not pretty, but he'll go to the line. All their decisions have been good ones tonight. Rutgers has really utilized the clock in a splendid fashion. And Murphy is done for the evening. You can hear the extra. Right. Dripping sarcasm here at Rutgers. The home stater is done for the evening. 18 points. He had to go 5 for 16 to get it. 0 for 1 from three-point range. 8 for 12. And the hard feelings are still there since he left the state to go to Notre Dame. And the best thing you can do if you try Murphy is just walk off the floor, sit down, forget about it, and regroup. Get ready for the next contest. Todd Billick gets a big round of applause as Luis Flores comes in. 31 points for Billick, 8 of 12 from three-point range, 10 of 16 overall. He had three assists, one turnover in 35 minutes. That is one heck of a line. You know, that one turnover might be as important as his whole, the other storyline of him shooting the ball from well from three-point range. Good news for Murphy and Notre Dame is Carroll fires and hits a three. Their next four games conference games are at home. Graves steals, knocks his own man down. Graves gets it back, fires, won't go. Put back by Matt Carroll. For the Fighting Irish, a last push here. They're fighting, but Brown gets it across, and they get a foul on the sideline. For Notre Dame, they have Pittsburgh, Miami, St. John's, and West Virginia coming in over the next four games. Here is a look at the Rutgers' upcoming schedule. Jimmy and I will be back here Sunday for Villanova, then some Adams. They got St. John's, Georgetown, BC all on the road, and then Miami comes to the rack. Room for Luis Flores. There's a look at the MD schedule. Pittsburgh, Miami, St. John's, West Virginia, and then at Pittsburgh. The Rutgers run of not losing two in a row will continue with this resounding win tonight. For the Fighting Irish, this will be their second in a row, having lost at Syracuse on Sunday. Carroll puts it up and hits. It'll make the score look a little more respectable, but the counter Fox in the game has it taken away. Counter in his first action. Matt Carroll lost it. Gets it back to Englesby. Englesby shoots, gets the rebound. Got hit by Kareem Wright. He'll shoot a couple. And you can really see in this game, after the frustrating frustration of losing West Virginia on Saturday, like you're feeling it's Oaks tonight. And the thing about it, too, was to get them to bounce back. I mean, it's really a marvelous job by Kevin Bannon and the entire Rutgers team preparing them for this particular game. Todd Billett stepping up to lead this team, but also knowing, understanding what Troy Murphy means to Notre Dame and being able to take him out of the ball game right from the beginning. They open a race. Brown in a hurry is going to back it out. Final 25 seconds. Fox. Had it knocked out of his hands. Troy Murphy, this will be one of those lesson learned kind of games and also something that he's going to have to get used to in the Big East. Because one thing, oh. the Big East, always a hallmark. Good years, bad years, defense. Teams in this conference will play defense. And, and the, beauty, the beauty of this with Troy Murphy is that he must learn from the standpoint of other teams are going to watch the tape on this basketball game and watch the way 
it is played and how they played them defensively. Right. The other thing, too, keep in mind, they'll have to wait till next season or in the Big East tournament to get another shot at Rutgers. I think there's a little problem behind the Notre Dame bench with some of the fans. Is it time to get your vehicle inspected? Here are a few tips from Clean Air. He wants to get this game going so he can get his team off the floor. Turnover. Mercura turns it over. And two minutes left, and St. John's in deep trouble. Three, three, three. Trailing 70 to 56 against Seton Hall. But what a night for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. And that will count. Ian Trogan the final exclamation point on it 76 to 51 Rutgers Todd Billett the story tonight he and the defensive stand made against Troy Murphy the second leading scorer in the nation 31 for Billett 18 for Murphy led the way for Notre Dame once again, come out, did a great job to start things off defensively on Troy Murphy, and Phil took over. For Jim Spinock, I'm Dave Sims. Thanks for joining us. A Rutgers night here at the Rack. They win resoundingly, 76 to 51. See you next time on Big East Basketball.